Privacy is a fundamental right and is essential to any democratic society. It is key to the effective protection of journalistic sources. Without it, there is no free information and no protection of medical or professional confidentiality. We all have something to hide from someone. An employer, colleagues, friends, family, stepfamily, a wife or a husband. That doesn't mean it's something bad, just something private. Even things we don't think are worth hiding today might later be used against us. An attack on our privacy also hurts the privacy of people we communicate with. When we know we might be under surveillance, our behavior changes. We might decide not to go to a political meeting, to censor what we tell friends, family, and colleagues, thinking it might fall in the wrong hands or simply be made public. Under surveillance, we may decide not to become a whistleblower. Privacy is the necessary condition for thinking and expressing oneself freely. Edward Snowden is courageously risking his life to show us the extent to which our privacy is already being invaded. The USA engages in massive surveillance of everyone on a global scale, and does so with the active support of European countries. Online and offline, all our messages, phone calls, location, travels, browsing history and behavior are potentially being recorded and aggregated in profiles by the NSA and its public and private partners. We can see a global surveillance state emerging, used not only to spy on individuals, but also on companies and political leaders. This could radically alter the political and economic relationship between countries and be used to suppress dissent and political opposition. Such surveillance wouldn't be possible without the collaboration of tech giants such as Google, Apple, Facebook, and Microsoft. Their business models, based on collecting everything about everyone, have been key to enabling this global surveillance state. We need to rethink our relationship to technology because we cannot trust these companies anymore. Big data, in fact, turns out to be Big Brother. We need a world where technology is at our service, protects privacy and brings more freedom. We can act now and make a difference for ourselves and everyone we know by using free and open source software that belongs to everyone and that we can always control. By switching to decentralized services that make it possible to know where our data is and what happens to it. And by using end-to-end -end encryption to guarantee that our private communications are, well, private. So let's raise awareness about the impact of global surveillance. And let's ensure that our political leaders protect our privacy and promote technologies that instead of controlling people, liberate them.